Back during the 2016 election, the Steele dossier tried to tie then-candidate Trump to Russia. Of course, it involved Trump, hookers, and some water sports in a Moscow hotel room. Listen, we don't kink shame here, but in some shocking new testimony, we're learning the FBI offered Hillary Clinton operative Christopher Steele a million dollars from the FBI if he could prove his allegations that Trump colluded with Russia and it were true. He couldn't. Thus, the FBI did not have corroboration for allegations included in the Steele dossier used to justify FISA warrants that uh, snooped on the Trump campaign, including Carter Page. So is this just more proof the FBI is corrupt and needs to be abolished? Joining me now, 2020 Libertarian Vice Presidential Candidate, Chair of YouAreThePower.net. It is Spike Cohen in front of a beautiful cityscape. I believe that is Miami. Spike, welcome back. It is Miami, and thank you for having me back. I'm here for LibertyCon. Thanks for having me. Oh, nicely done. Um, so, Spike, tell me uh, about some of the things that we are learning today. Did the FBI really offer Christopher Steele a million dollars, and was that the most salacious thing we've learned so far? Uh, well, it appears to be that that's about as salacious as it gets. They have given, uh, they offered a million dollars to Christopher Steele to corroborate. And what's more disgusting about it is that that is, that information that they, we now know that they knew was not correct, or at least that they couldn't prove it was correct, that was the main thing that they used for the Carter Page uh, FISA warrant application to snoop on President Trump or former, uh, or I guess candidate Trump at the time, Donald mm -hmm. Trump, uh, in the first place. That all came from the Steele dossier, which they not only knew not to be true, but were actually using as and, and trying to basically bribe uh, Steele into uh, into proving was true. So it was the million dollars a bluff? Like, hey, bro, we know this is fake. Oh, we'll give you a million dollars. Were they so desperate for it to be true that 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 was the massive amount of money that they were offering this corrupt operative? And I'm, I'm sorry, you broke up. I didn't hear what you asked. I didn't break up with you, Spike. I've been here the whole time. I believe you were the one who ghosted me, and I've got the text to prove it. <laughs> JK. Okay. Uh, so okay. let's talk a little bit about Carter Page. Carter Page uh, had been working with the CIA. The FBI conveniently left that out of the FISA warrant application, uh, yep. which, you know, they knew he was working for the agency. And a FISA judge would have looked yep. at that and been like, well, why are we wiretapping this guy? He's one of us. And on top of that, they're taking all of this fake information that even though they tried to pay dearly for it, they, they couldn't use any of it in terms of proving its worth. Yep, exactly. Page. And I wish I could say this was some kind of an outlier, but it's not. As, as I've talked about on your show before, uh, the FBI was actually founded illegally. Uh, there was a, a prohibition on even having a federal law enforcement agency uh, back in 1908. Teddy Roosevelt's uh, AG, uh, Bonaparte, he uh, illegally took funds from the Justice Department to set up the Bureau of Investigation, which later became the FBI. Uh, and we've seen with programs like COINTELPRO, uh, with uh, Waco, with Ruby Ridge, with the assassination of Fred Hampton. We've seen a decades-long history of an organization that was started illegally that has engaged in working with, uh, uh, with organized crime, in kidnappings, in destroying people's character, and slandering people, in kidnapping people, and even assassinating people. So this is really just par for the course for the America version of the Stasi. So what has the FBI done to rehabilitate itself since the James Comey era? Uh, hope that you pretend that they ha that they're going to be different now there's this pervasive myth uh, in American culture that yes it's true that the FBI and the CIA and the DEA and the NSA and the ATF it's true that they've been te doing terrible things that they've been caught doing in the 1920s 1930s 1940s 1950s all the way up until Empire. the 2000s or even the 2010s mm -hmm. uh, and that there was never any real accountability held no one was ever fired uh, no one ever got in any real trouble but if you think they're still doing that now you're a terrible conspiracy theorist they rely on normalcy bias. They rely on people just believing that they're not still doing what they've always done, and in the, the case of the FBI, what they were created to do. They are not a law enforcement agency. By their own uh, metrics, over 50 percent of the crimes that they, that they look into are never solved. They're not a uh, law enforcement group. They're a political organization. They should have never existed in the first place. And I hope that my, my new frown uh, FBI-hating friends on the right join me and other libertarians in calling for what we've called for from the beginning, for the FBI to be abolished. 
finished. We do not need a Stasi in this country. Uh, there are a lot of law enforcement organizations who are resentful of the FBI and the hubris under which they operate. I don't think Christopher Wray has made the organization a better place. I don't think they're operating with any more transparency. And I think what we're learning through this investigation and through this trial is absolutely shameful. And if Congress isn't spurred to action by this, I, I don't know what it'll take. I, I really, really don't. And everyone is just doing things for appearances. And uh, all you have to do yeah. is, is investigate Waco to know that. Um, Spike, thank you for being here. Waco, Ruby Ridge, yes. Fred Hampton, any of those things. Uh, they, uh, Viola Luosi, when she was killed by a, a, a KKK member who was an FBI informant, they uh, slandered her after she died, saying that she was a communist, that she had abandoned her family and all sorts of, she was a heroin addict and all these things. And it was all just to cover up the fact that one of their informants who was in the Klan and had murdered someone and they did nothing about it. We need to abolish the CIA. And this is only going to end when the people come together and demand as one voice that the that the United States government, the federal government, not have a federal law enforcement agency. We don't need it, and it's made things worse. Or at least we need some accountability. Spike, thank you so much.